funny you should look so tired so early in the morning. So tired, you can hardly move your arms and legs. You are tired, so tired. You feel your head begin to nod and slowly, slowly, your eyes are starting to close. So tired and sleepy. Um, wake up, wake up. You, you, you kind of fell asleep there. Well, okay, you didn't, but if you didn't know, that was a quote from the brilliant The Demon Head Master by Gillian Cross. Now, I don't know about you, but this is one of the most terrifying shows on children's TV when I was younger. But until now, I've never actually read the books. If you don't know, the whole series, the books and the TV show, is based around the idea that the headmaster at Dinah, Lloyd and Harvey's schools is using hypnosis to control his pupils. He's using hypnosis to keep them quiet in lessons or what we presume are lessons. He's using hypnosis to keep the school orderly. I mean, the playgrounds are full of pupils reciting their times tables. He believes playing in the playground, you know, the place where you're meant to play, no, not on, not on at all. It should be quiet. It's an orderly school, a quiet school. To the outside world, it's a perfect school. To everyone inside the school, it's far from perfect. You don't want to go there, basically. So let's talk about the headmaster. He's one hell of a creepy guy. He wears a black suit, round spectacles, slightly tinted, but he's kind of mysterious. You see him around the school occasionally, but he's almost the overseeing eyes of the place. You feel his presence rather than see him himself. You see him kind of in the corner of your eye rather than there and there. Who you really want to keep your eye out for are the prefects. They're kind of his eyes and ears, and they are the ones you don't want to get on the wrong side of. They deliver his punishments, and their punishments they're not exactly your normal punishments. There's no detentions and there's no lines. These kind of punishments, they're right from the devil's handbook. There's some of them, I would go as far as saying, they're just plain evil. This book's only 158 pages long. It's quite short and it's a very quick read. It moves along at the speed of light. And before you know it, you'll be picking up the next one. I did anyway. It's easy to follow along and it's just a sense of humour which almost underlines and kind of almost makes the creepy factors a bit more creepy. It has potential points of humour as well that you kind of see something, you can see something coming. For the young and the young at heart, the Demon Headmaster is at once a fun and frightening read. Just promise me, you won't look into his eyes. My name's Jesse and we've just read to life the Demon Headmaster. Thanks for watching. Bye.